To say Bruno Fernandes has had an immediate impact at United is a bit of an understatement. In his first four appearances, he's got two assists and he's got a goal and he won man of the match in three out of four of those appearances. He's taken to United brilliantly and we already love him as fans. So what I want to do in this video is run through all the ways I think that Bruno Fernandes has already impacted United in such a short space of time. Make sure you subscribe if you're new down below. Let's talk about Bruno. Firstly, what I'd like to do is apologise for not having any reaction to Bruges, any reaction to Watford or a video yesterday. I went to the game in Bruges. I didn't have a ticket, so I watched it in the pub with some mates, but I had no signal. I've got a match reaction, but I couldn't upload it anywhere. That's why I had no match reaction to Bruges. And then for the Watford game, I've been hit with flu for the last few days. It has absolutely floored me. I've still got it. That's why I sound like this. But that's why I had no Watford reaction or a video on Monday. But hopefully we're back to normal now. And I do want to apologise for not having any videos. But Bruno Fernandes, come on, his impact at United. I expected him to have an impact. I didn't expect it to be so profound and so immediate. And there's so many different ways I think that he has impacted United. The first point is abundantly obvious, but Bruno's individual quality is so much higher than we've grown to expect from our midfielders other than Paul Pogba, who we haven't really seen all season. You look at his passing range, not only can he see the passes that others can't, he can execute them as well. You look at his set pieces, that corner for Maguire was probably the best corner we've had in three years, in swinging with real pace, and he's dangerous from free kicks, spanked the post against Chelsea too. Clearly, he's going to add so much in terms of those set pieces and making United a danger from them again. And that is a massive deal. And then if you take a look at the tempo that Bruno Fernandes plays at, it's higher than we've grown to expect from our midfielders. It makes our attack far less predictable. He's always moving. He's always moving around and he brings other players up around him. And I'll speak about that in a bit. But that tempo is so important and so is his intelligence in terms of the runs he's making, the right runs when not to run, defensive work rate. Bruno really is everywhere. He's not just about goals and an, assi an assist, sorry. He adds just a complete package. And I, the term world-class player really is banded around a lot. But I think we've seen in these first few games that Bruno is absolutely in that world-class category. And one big thing I think Bruno has done is not just on an individual basis, it's about improving the players around him. And I think Anthony Martial is clearly the best example of that so far. Two goals in the three appearances that he's played with Bruno Fernandes. And for Martial, having a player like Fernandes behind him is a dream. Because, you know, Solskjaer compared Bruno Fernandes to a sort of mix between Veron and Scholes. And you can see exactly why. Because he's always looking for those runs. Always looking for those passes. And he's brave enough and quality enough to not only just take those passes on, but invariably find his man quite often with them. And Anthony Martial, you can see the confidence in him straight away. You can see it in just the, the big smile on his face when he's playing with Bruno Fernandes. And Bruno's going to improve everybody around him. It's not just about the quality that he has individually. It's about the fact that he's going to make all these United players improve their game. And that is a massive, massive bonus. And Martial, I mean, that goal against Watford, my, my, my. You know, he's on for his best, I think it might be his already, his best goal scoring season. Anyway, he's certainly going to beat it by the looks of it. And it's a shame that we can't see Marcus Rashford playing with Bruno yet. But it's exciting to see how the players around him are responding to Bruno's quality. And Martial, for me, right now, is the best example of that so far. One thing I maybe didn't expect immediately with Bruno Fernandes was how much of a leader he is. You see him on the pitch pointing to runs that players should be making pointing to space that players should be covering. He's really inspiring by example. And Harry Maguire was brought in as the leader and the captain of the club. But I've seen more from Bruno in the first four games than I have really seen from a leadership perspective anyway than Harry Maguire has. And I didn't expect that. Maybe that's foolish of me because I didn't watch enough of Bruno at Sporting Lisbon. But he's not only bringing a real quality on an individual basis. He's not only improving the players around him. He's leading them as well. He's setting an example. And for Solskjaer, it's the perfect type of signing because it's going to force everybody to improve their quality. And that brings me on to what I would consider one of the most important things I've seen so far from Bruno in terms of the impact he's had. And it's Solskjaer's comments on Pereira and Lingard. 
Now, we all know that Solskjaer is a, is a nice manager. He's not a Jose Mourinho that's going to go and throw his players under the bus in public. But that seems to have changed immediately. As soon as Bruno Fernandes has come in and given Solskjaer an example to point towards and an option, he's now saying, look, look Lingard and Pereira were both left out of the squad against Watford. And that's because the quality wasn't good enough. It's the sort of thing that fans have been wanting to hear from Solskjaer. But up until this point, we, we rarely heard it. Because Solskjaer is, is the sort of man that keeps his, keeps his anger behind the scenes for the players. But now he's speaking out in public. And that's going to force the players to improve. And just as I said, Bruno Fernandes is more about just the individual quality that he brings. It's the example that he sets. It's forcing his teammates to improve. And it's giving Solskjaer the ability now to point fingers at players that aren't doing enough in a United shirt. And we've all been calling for that for a long time. But now that Bruno's there, it's given Solskjaer the confidence to say that because the example is there of how good a player can be for United and where other players should be aiming to get towards. And that's a big, big thing. We all hoped that Bruno would have an immediate impact at United, but he's absolutely blown my expectations out of the water. Not only has he got goals and assists and man of the match awards it's the tempo that he forces other players to play at it's the fact that he's forcing other players to improve their game to match his standards Anthony Martial is absolutely loving life right now under Bruno Fernandes and I think Fred's going to keep improving McTominay coming back into the team it's going to be a far more exciting last couple of months of the season because Bruno is in it and he is a world-class signing that we should have made in the summer and maybe it could have had a much bigger impact on this season. But it's exciting to see how United have improved with Bruno in the team and the example that he's setting for the other players going forward. Now, once again, I do want to apologise for the lack of videos. This illness has absolutely crucified me. But hopefully we're going to get back to normal. Bruges game on Thursday. Let's see what happens there. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe down below. Drop a like on it as well. But what are the... How do you think Bruno has impacted United? Let me know in the comments below.